okay, I've had it. That's it. You, I can't take it anymore. You guys are sending me way too many videos. Apparently, anytime anything money related shows up on TikTok or Instagram, everyone in America is like, I gotta make sure George sees this. I might be the first. And then anywhere from one to 185 people send it to me. And seriously, my DMs are as full as a Planet Fitness on January 1st, brimming with hope and bad form. Hey, come on. Hey. No judgment. Now, I will say, to your credit, some of these videos are actually worth sharing because they're funny, eye-opening, or just downright outrageous. In fact, some of them were so good, I too wanted to share them. So today, we're gonna look at just a handful of the many, many, many videos you've shared with me. But before we do, hit those like and subscribe buttons, and since you apparently love sharing videos so much, how about you share this video, huh? But not with me this time. I've already seen the video. I made the video, so I'm, I'm good. All right, let's get to the first one. Now, I don't know who originally posted this one. If you do, credit them in the comments, but it was shared on Instagram by the account Business Equity. Let's take a look. So I'm at the bank, right? I noticed everybody's receipts right there, so I'm like, hmm, let me see how America's doing. Felt like being nosy. <laughs> Available balance, $400. Available balance, 173. Okay. Available balance, 57 cents. Damn, bro, America going through it, man. I mean, what would happen if like, you know, they get like a sickness in the family or some emergency? Mm -hmm. It's not easy to live out here in 2023 nowadays. Might as well go back to El Salvador, man, your country, to be honest. Wow. Okay, well, bleeps aside, I get the heart of what this guy was trying to say. If you missed it, let me recap. He was at an ATM and decided to go through the trash to see how little is in people's bank accounts. First of all, let's not make too many assumptions about all of America based on three receipts from a trash can at some ATM. Not exactly what we call statistically significant. But the point he's making remains and the stats show it. A lot of people are struggling financially. We know that seven in 10 Americans are living paycheck to paycheck and four in 10 Americans have nothing in savings. And like you said, what if someone gets sick? What if you have some kind of emergency and you get nothing in the bank? Then people start turning to debt and credit cards and 401k loans that just keep them in this paycheck to paycheck cycle. So if you're a ATM receipts look like this, there's something you can do to stop it. You have to create some buffer in that bank account and stop living paycheck to paycheck. In fact, we did a whole live stream that was completely free on how to break that paycheck to paycheck cycle with my friend Dave Ramsey, Jade Warshaw, Dr. John Deloney, and Rachel Cruz. I'm gonna link it for you below to go watch the replay because this will help you get out of that cycle. All right, our next video is from a boy, Rob Deerdick. Let's check it out. I never saved any money, all the way up to 40. Made millions, spent millions. Highly successful millionaire who had made millions and spent millions in the age-old cycle of the poor. The age-old cycle of the poor. It doesn't matter if you, you know, make $12 million a year or you make 12000 a year. If you spend every bit of money that you earn every single year, uh, you both end up in the same place, the same struggle, the same chaos on two completely different scales. That's good. So here's Rob talking about one of his biggest mistakes, making millions, spending millions. Now, we all wish we had that problem, right? But I love the transparency here. He's acknowledging that just because you make more doesn't mean that you're building any more wealth or that you're keeping more. The person who's making a lot of money has some clear advantages here over the person who's making $12,000. But what he's really addressing here is the problem of lifestyle creep. The more you make, the more you spend. And everyone always likes to think, well, if I made more money, my problems would be better. Or you tend to upgrade your lifestyle and take on more payments and more debt to look good instead of actually become wealthy. But I like what he's saying here. He's highlighting the fact that even people who make a lot of money can be in a terrible spot financially if they're not doing the right things with their money. And the stats show this. One out of three Americans, these high earners making six figures, are living paycheck to paycheck. One out of three. That is insane. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! So you gotta live on less than you make. If you can learn to do that, you will become wealthy, whether you make 40,000 or 400,000. All right, the next video comes from at Hose Draggers. I'm worried. Let's check it out. All right, we got a pulse. What happened? You suffered a heart attack, but we were able to bring you back to life. Oh my God, thank you so much. Of course, of course. Uh, it's just gonna ask you a couple questions really quickly. What? Yeah, just whenever you're ready. 
Oh, I love these tipping videos. Okay, so let me recap what happened in this video. It's obviously a comedy sketch, guys, not a real paramedic. It's a made-up tip. You know, it's, it's clearly addressing the out-of-control tipping culture in America today. Where does it end? Like, are, are we gonna start tipping paramedics and, and vending machines for functioning properly? Gonna start slipping a five to the dental hygienist for not making our gums bleed too much? Or, or tipping the proctologist for, you know what, they, they actually might deserve a tip. That's, that's some back-breaking work right there. Anywho, I made a video about just how out of control it's gotten, complete with a guide for when you should and shouldn't leave a tip. I'm gonna link that below to solve this for you once and for all. No guilt tipping anymore, I'm done with it. Our next video is from Holly Polly, AKA Swanky Squirrel One on TikTok. And you may recognize it because I've reacted to it on this channel before, but so many of you sent it to me in my DMs, I thought we gotta address this and go a layer deeper. Check it out. I just checked my student loans because I needed to get the information to someone and I started with 80,000. I have been paying for 10 years. Last year, I paid 6,000 lump sum because that's really the only way to get it low. Uh, that took it down to 76,000 after I'd been paying for nine years. The grand total is I have paid $120,000 and I still owe 76. I think I might be late to the game learning about this. Um, student loans are really messed up. They are really messed up. And I'm sorry that she's going through this and realizing this 10 years into the game. So here's what's happening here. She didn't realize that making minimum payments with a high interest rate of 7% would mean her student loan balance actually grows as she's paying it down for a decade. So she's only paid down $4,000 from her original balance. She paid 120,000 total for a loan that was originally $80,000. And it's only got knocked down by four. That's insane. And y'all, this is the reality of student loans. So many people are dealing with this. And it's why you can't just make minimum payments. It's why you shouldn't get on these income-based repayment plans where it keeps your payments nice and low as a gift to you to give you breathing room while your student loan balance balloons and balloons and balloons. I mean, I've seen stories where the balance grows 50%, even 100% if you just make these minimum payments and get on these crappy plans. So here's what you gotta do. You have to throw extra at it. You don't wanna do the minimum, you wanna do the maximum. Throw as much as you can at that balance every single month and get it knocked out with the debt snowball method. Smallest to largest balance on each of your debts, attack the little one with a vengeance, make minimum payments on the rest, you roll the payment, as you pay it off and you gain momentum as you go. Don't wait a decade or two decades to pay off your student loans. Take control, be done with it forever. If you're following this debt snowball method, you're following the plan I'm teaching here, you'll pay off your debt in 18 to 24 months on average. All of your consumer debt, gone. Take control, guys. This is not where you want to be. All right, this next video speaks to me personally. You'll see why. It's short and sweet. It's a clip of what appears to be a young couple having a date at Costco, complete with tablecloth and candles for a little romantic ambiance. And I, I gotta respect the hustle here, okay? Times are tough out there. You gotta get in a date night whenever and wherever you can on a budget. And if that means scarfing down a $1.50 hot dog combo or a $2 slice of pizza by candlelight, good for you. And honestly, I bet this is a happy couple despite the look on his wife slash girlfriend's face. I can't tell if she was just really having a moment with that slice of pizza or if she was like, get me out of here. But this is proof that going on a date doesn't have to be an expensive undertaking. And it makes me wonder, what is the cheapest date you've ever been on? Let me know in the comments. And if you have any tips for an inexpensive date night that maybe isn't Costco, I'd love to know. I need some ideas. Help me help you. All right, well, those were just a few of the videos you guys have shared with me. Thank you to everyone who sent those. I'm honored you think of me when you see money-related content on Instagram, TikTok, or wherever else. And if you didn't enjoy this video, it's kind of on you, right? I mean, send me better ones. Just stop sending me these. We've put them in the vault, guys. And if there's a clip that should have been on this list, share it in the comments, and maybe we'll include it in a future video like this. And as always, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this with all of your friends. You know, like you share financial TikToks with me, which is a lot, borderline too much. So just share this video a normal, non-annoying amount. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.